let's talk about prevocalic voicing. This phonological process um, affects voiceless consonants before the vowel. So pre-vocalic before the vowel voicing. Uh, an example would be if the word peach became beach. The p um, picks up voicing and turns into a b. A couple of things to notice. We started with p, which is a voiceless bilabial stop. And the only thing that changed was voicing. So it becomes a voiced bilabial stop. So p turns to b. Um, if you in an exercise were given a word like peach and asked apply uh, prevocalic voicing to this word, what would you get? You can't just pick any voiced consonant. That's not how phonological processes work. Um, there's, there are patterns that humans typically follow. So um, when we add voicing to p, we keep the same place and the same manner by labial um, plosive, it's, um, it's a stop. And we're just gonna add voicing so p turns to b, but not to g way in the back, okay? And generally this will occur for the consonants immediately preceding a vowel. Um, but it could be, it could happen in part of a blend as long as the other consonant is also uh, voiced. Um, an example of that would be truck turning into druck. Hope this helps.